The amber and blacks continued from last week's hammering of Northland, their forwards setting up the platform for two tries. First, Scott Waldron crashed over and then stole some scrappy magpies line-out ball to allow Brett Gooden to sneak over for a 14-point buffer. But the home side woke up. Prop Sona Talmalolo crashed over. They then took the lead after half-time. Lee clears again. Gilford. Gilford gets it back. And gets the pass over to Gibbons. Lovely try, Hawks Bay. Taranaki could have reclaimed the lead, but Willie Rupier didn't have the distance in his kick. The Magpies lost skipper Danny Lee to a badly bruised hand midway through the second spell. But Taranaki infringed at the breakdown, and Matt Burquist scored the final points with 16 minutes to go. With Auckland depleted thanks to the All Blacks being on ice, anything could have happened in this afternoon's Ranfurly Shields Challenge at Eden Park. It was tight too. The only points early on via the boot, 6-3 to three to Auckland at half-time. That evened out just under 10 minutes after the break to 6-all and an Auckland player's shoulder charge had the holders down to 14 men for the obligatory 10. But Southland just couldn't capitalise, whereas the home side were taking their chances and had a bit of luck. Where does it bounce? Into the hands of Huckabee Nemo, is it? They've got the playmakers out wide. Will they reach them? Yes, they will. This is Lockie Munro inside of David Smith. Will they stop him that close? He reaches out. They're claiming a try, and they've got one. After the conversion, it was 13-6. Southland seemed to blow any chance close to the line they had. score, and it goes between the legs. Oh, I'm aghast. But they did convert a late penalty. With less than a minute and a half to go, it was 13-9. The Stags put on an all-out attack. Nearly three minutes of overtime, and Auckland withstood 19 phases to nab a turnover in the last ruck of the game. And a monumentous effort by Southland. It's not enough. Auckland retained the shield and win by just four points. Meanwhile, in last night's matches, the Wellington Lions continued their mauling of the opposition. This time, Hurricanes partners Manawatu swiped aside. The end score 36-13, six tries to one. And the Bay of Plenty scored four tries to two over Otago, 31-20. The Bay back up to second on the table for now. Scoring tries like this, they're looking well on their way to the playoffs. Melody Robinson, Prime News. Waikato with just one win from the season were keen to carry on from their Auckland victory here at Waikato Stadium in round five against County's Monaco. It took them under three minutes to score their first try. The Mulus were in fine try scoring form. Another back from injury, Alad de Melmunch, over for their second. The halftime score 12 3. The best try of the match was to come seven minutes after the break. A double for New Zealand Sevens rep James Kamana. But then something unexpected, a comeback from counties with two quick tries, seeing them just two points behind Waikato at 17-15. But in the end, the boot of second 5-8 Callum Bruce was the difference. The Lulu's winning by just five points, 20-15. Meanwhile, last night Canterbury jumped back to number two spot on the table with a comprehensive performance against North Harbour. They scored five tries to none with BG Williams boy Paul Williams playing well, setting up one try and scoring one himself. The score, 36 to 9. Melody Robinson, Prime News.